Hey, what's up everybody? The Gear Dad here this morning. Got a little cold or something in my throat, but we're here with another Piddle demo. If you'll look down here with me, um, today I've actually got something a lot of fun. We're doing a comparison between the the Fromel, the Frommel, uh, not exactly sure how you pronounce it. I think it's Fromel, see from L. Uh, the Fromel mod kit for the blues driver from Boss and just a regular stock blues driver right here. Um, this is my own personal one. I bought this one just to do a comparison, but I have been uh, very happy with uh, the mod kit for this pedal. Um, it has to be done on any blues driver made, I think, before 2017, before they changed the way the circuitry works. Um, but this is a great mod for tightening up bass response, letting a little more of your guitar's character come through. I wouldn't say it makes it transparent. Um, but I think it's a great mod altogether. Um, one thing I will tell you about the mod kit, the instructions are super great. They're super detailed. Um, they lay out exactly how you need to do this mod. The only issue that I had was the instructions said that this mod would take about 30 minutes. Um, I had a friend of mine who's incredibly experienced with soldering, modding, and building pedals, um, do this one with me, and it took about three hours. Um, so just know that. Today I'm playing my Rickenbacker 360, um, kind of my go-to to guitar into my AC-15. Um, here's my clean signal. I'm on the bridge pickup. And here's the stock blues driver. Change into the Fromel one. Let's change back to this one. We'll move the gain up just a touch. We'll bring some volume down just a little bit. Same for this one. Do my best to put them right about the same place. So as you can hear already, um, the mod for this pedal um, from Fromel can really clear up a lot of uh, the complaints I think that I had with the Blues Driver already. It's a great drive pedal, but I think this kind of just takes it up to the next level for me um, and has made it a mainstay on my board at this point. Um, let's head back down here. Um, I'm going to push the gain a little bit more and start to tweak some of the tone knob um, just so you guys can get a better idea. I'm still in my Rickenbacker on the bridge pickup. gain all the way up well and i'll be playing with this tone knob just a little bit
And as far as using this drive, uh, a little more clean, or I guess a little more transparently, as kind of the trendy kids would say. Um, you can dial the gain down. I've got the gain down to about 9 o'clock, and I'm pushing the volume up a little bit. Here's the stock blues driver. <laughs> Here's the modded. Well, hey guys, thanks so much for checking out my video today. Um, I really just wanted to provide you with some of the main differences uh, for this modded blues driver versus the stock one. Um, like I said, after the mod, this pedal has become a mainstay on my board if the Blues Driver is already one of your favorites. I highly recommend this mod kit. Um, it's very cheap. Um, like I said, you will need a good, good amount of time to do it. Um, there's a lot of parts that are getting changed out. There's no switches. There's no drilling. Um, and it really makes this pedal come alive. So I highly recommend it. I found it on Reverb for about $25 from, from L's shop. They're out of Seattle. Um, so I highly rec recommend you go check that out. Um, again, if you like some of the videos I'm putting out, I'm trying my best to put out what I can with what I got. Um, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Anyway, I'm going to play you out today. I'm going to turn both of these on because why not?